Good morning, people. It's 5.25 in the morning, Monday, September 14th. I talked to you about a lot of different things. Um, sometimes goofy, sometimes really serious. Uh, Sometimes I'm actually fighting stuff while I'm trying to talk to you. Sometimes I'm trying to um, put together enough of my conscious mind to talk to you properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, But I am always serious in what I say. Um, I didn't start doing this to have people to talk to. I've always talked with people, saved animals, people. I was the guy that a lot of people laughed at for helping others when I couldn't help myself. <coughs> Excuse me. It's important. Hey, Herky, how you doing, baby? Good boy, honey. Thanks for joining, buddy. Good boy, yeah. Herky's my man. He's like me, he's getting a little older. He's got a lot of white hair coming out in his face. I was concerned he'd be gone by now. I'm glad he's not. I hope he and I can just go together. <sighs> Looks like it'll be close. Anyway, uh... If I do go first, it doesn't matter. Um, Emily and Michelle take good care of them. Anyway, uh, this information that I've been giving you, plus uh, the other stuff I haven't unloaded yet, um, is stuff that's yours. Um, that whether you, you need it right now or not, you are going to need later. If you want to really wake up and see what's going on on the other side and be well aware. Now, um, when I say you will need it, um, you know, that it will upset some people. Uh, the state of my head it really already has. Excuse me, got a big case of the sniffles today. Um, but uh, the thing about having a single platform to understand things on, excuse me, When a when say you get a room with three quote unquote psychics, they go to see something. They usually see something similar but a little different. If they understand why they're seeing something different, and they relax and flow into what they're seeing and talk with each other about it, then they can understand they're seeing the same thing in the way that their brain can actually perceive it from the images they've been given during that life. Also, those of you that are awake, and believe me, there's been people awake for a long time, um, all through life, uh, lives, whatever, um, then they can actually see that when they put a few of them together, they're each given a different piece of the broad puzzle, so that they all have the basic idea, plus a little something extra special to add to it which helps the three of them all together come up with a better picture. Uh, when I say better picture, I mean a, a more detailed or complete one. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew it was going to turn to fall. I thought I'd at least get that far before I left. I'm kind of glad that it is. Fall is a nice time. For, the, for me, this is my twilight. Anyway, that's why people can see something differently like that. It's important for all of you to understand basic shapes of spirit when you see them through the pineal gland, uh, sometimes through the uh, scanner. When you see a certain shape, a certain color, a certain feeling, if you know what it is and how it fits, how this one piece fits on this huge map, 
then you can better understand what you're looking at. Okay? Um, if not, you have a bunch of cars running down the street with no traffic lights. Okay? Um, you have collisions, but not, uh, you know, like physical collisions. They're um, collisions of thought. And uh, that type of uh, uh, discrepancy in, or, you know, lack, the lack of flow, interruption of flow in your thought process as a group, as creation waking up in physical bodies, excuse me, um, as, as that interrupts, it slows down creation moving as a whole, plus it, it affects everyone individually. Uh, that's a big, important part of the information I give you is so that you understand when you see this, you see like a little little being running around kind of short, it's got like a round head and stuff like that, that's the ground elves, okay? Not what someone wrote in a book about this and la di da that. People, I'm actually seeing it, okay? And a, a lot of you know that, okay? Um, because I am sincere, because I have honor, when I talk with you, you get the feeling that either this guy really sees this stuff or he's nuts because he really believes what he says simple it's a simple deduction on your part and it's true the thing is that I do see it and then when you find out that thousands of times I've got into people's heads and evolved their brains and not always but usually and when I say usually I'm talking of yeah, talking about 90% of the time, 92% of the time, their brain and skull physically grow. Um, people, this is about who you are when you're not in a body. This is about who you really are and what you're doing in a body. This is about where you came from. This is about how it all started, the first original being. This is why we have a lot of, this is about why we have a lot of problems, where they came from. These two books I left you have all the information you could possibly want, and they, you can read through it real quick. Read the words. Okay, wow, man, I got through that quick. Okay, now, what did you read? Um, I've said this before on video, and, I, you know, I try not to repeat myself. Come on, folks, I've had... 300 and something videos out there, you know, <laughs> some of it has to be repetitive, uh, repeti repeti repetitious, but repetitive, okay, um, excuse me again, <laughs> um, Sniffle City, anyway, um, now, I've told you before, it's important for you to have this information while in body, which leads to the fact that it's very important for the third dimension to have this information, the physical dimension. Why? Because you get out of your body, you go home anyway. Why is it important? Well, it has a lot to do with having a better life and enabling yourself to make better decisions and not worrying as much. Worry is a form of abuse. A little bit of it will help you grow too much. It's not good for anyone. And and why? Subject yourself and others to it. Okay? When you go into life, folks, when you go into body to have a life, um, it's like five days a week you're at your house. And then for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, you go up to the door, you put on a jumpsuit, zip it up, and then you take off. And then you come back to that same front door uh, Sunday night, and then you unzip it and walk out. That zip suit, that's your body. Okay, that's what it's like. That's not, that jumpsuit is not who you are. It is a very important jumpsuit. It is a very important moment, not just in your life, but a very substantial event in creation itself, in the history of creation. Um, this is important. I told you, I don't like to use the word sacred. People get religious about it. Religions are control systems to control you, to do something, to, to manipulate. Uh, no, wrong. They're all wrong. Um, anyway, um, to get together, 
to express the love in your heart that you have for everything, awesome. Totally awesome, man. Wonderful. Um, there's nothing any better than you. Okay? And you're no better than anything else. We can do things better than each other, like perform tasks better, but that does not make us better. Okay? That was a problem with creation, how it was set up initially and the problems we've had. So anyway, imagine this. Eventually you evolve so you can see things on the other side. You're aware of things. Then someone tells you what's actually there. And then as you wake up, you find out, okay, this, this is a reporter that was reporting what happened on the street as he saw it. And it always seems to come out cor uh, correct. It's creation and it's actual form. That's all. No whoopie do, no big parade, okay? Um, uh, no stench of better than. It's just what it is, okay? Um, it's important for you to have that. If you know that you're in a body temporarily, if you know it is a very important moment where uh, the the planet, the the spirit, the female less uh, female universal essence within that planet, actually gives you a piece of her spirit plus a physical body from her planet that she's in that bonds with your energy to make the the core energy the dual core energy which is well you know also called kundalini that's an important moment that that's a whole lot of gifting and everything else there that's big if you are if you're aware of who you really are inside your makeup what you're doing in that body to go through life and understand things and learn things that sometimes it's going to be difficult your day is a whole lot better okay your day just got better every single day got at least this much better if not this much better okay that's every day plus when you get stressed and go through stuff you're not wandering around saying it's okay I'm being punished, and I'm, I'm learning lessons. I'm not really being punished uh, by the old loving, forgiving God that made hell, and I got to worry about going to hell. And what's going to happen when I die? <coughs> Folks, all the crap is gone. It's not there, and it shouldn't be there because it's not real. It doesn't exist. It only exists in your mind because it was put there by this system that we have. And that was put in everyone's head to be made that way by the original first being male and female, and it was maintained. By the angels that were put on you. Um, imagine how much better your life would be when you take over 30% of the abuse in your life out from the top end, top, the bad stuff. Uh, there, there will be a bit, you know, if you're in a body having a life and they either born or die, there's going to be some tragic moments, but keeping them to a minimum. This is a piece of some. Uh, beautiful red uh, essenite it's good hard energy yeah we'll put it in the top pocket with all the other ones I got in there um, so anyway uh, the red essenite by the way is uh, one of the rare stones there is on the planet <laughs> um, incredibly powerful stuff anyway uh, Imagine what, how your day would change, the stress that would come out of your day, if you knew who you really were, what's really going on, the fact that you're not alone, the stuff's everywhere, and that this body thing is temporary anyway, the body doesn't even belong to you, it's a lease vehicle. That you don't, you didn't even have to pay for, because somebody was, being the energy of the planet, the spirit of the planet, not energy, excuse me, sentient energy, or spirit of the planet, Gaia, is what uh, most of us call her for the earth, um, that she gave you. Um, and you know things would be a little bit difficult, but you know you're going home to the other side where you belong. That this is temporary. It's like going to school for the weekend or something, whatever you want to call it. That would once you understand that, folks, that's going to help change everything, including politics and everything else. Plus, now that the original first being male and female are dead. Uh, and they're along with the almost every single one of the angels that uh, was messing with them uh, and then uh, that was messing with you that they 
their servants that we use and to mess with you, like the strings that attach their hands to the puppet, okay? Um, and then the other big stuff on the other side is uh, all but little teeny pieces of gone now. You can finally be left alone to have your life. Um, it was imperative for me to be in a body one last time and to do this. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you know, Jay said he killed God. Jay said he killed Jesus. Jesus is Lord. And I, I, like I said, nothing's any better than anyone else. The original first being male and female with 27.5% negative. They just were. Um, they were arrogant. Um, what's in me is, is arrow. And it, it's so big, it's crazy. It's from too big from having too many lives. Um... And it is the strongest thing there is. And it's our in me, is that's what I am. It's the original source energy. It was the strongest piece of source ever made. And then it, it had over 10.846 trillion lives. That's why I'm so strong inside, but coming out of this body is a necessity to do what I need to do. Um, but there's so much of it flowing out of this body that. Uh, when it's time to do things, and it's imperative, the the completeness of what area is knows it needs to do it, and it does it. But it's like this this body. What's in in my body is like a control center, but it, it does it does have checks and balances to make sure I don't screw up. So it's it's kind of like walking around with your head uh, with two thirds of your brain detached and uh, being able to still function, like you hold it in your hand. That's kind of a, <laughs> a gruesome analogy or something, but. Uh, it's hard to talk about energy like this. Excuse me, spirit, sentient energy. Um, these words I've left you will be around forever. Um, I'm not trying to make a big thing out of myself at all. It's not about me. But it is about the knowledge that I'm uh, giving you all. And that's what it is, it's knowledge. It's information, data. But it's truth. Um, and as time goes on, more of you will understand that. And as generations move forward, your children, their children, their children, their children, they'll have it to help them understand. I said a long time ago that it'll get to the point soon, very soon, where when someone can't hear voices, they'll go to a good metaphysical practitioner so they can Whereas, you know, the way it's been until recently, if you hear voices, well, then you go to a psychiatrist and get put on Thorazine or something, and you stand there staring off into space, drooling out of the side of your mouth. Yeah, that's a good fix, isn't it? Now, sometimes people do have problems up here. I, I understand that, okay? So, there's a lot of things that are wrong, and remember, it's, you have to take everyone individually as far as what's going on with them. And there's so much arrogance around, that's really a crippler for creation, but we'll talk about that later. So anyway, what's in me, Aura, was made at the very beginning. To be the protect, <coughs> excuse me, to be the protector. <coughs> that's funny, uh, I'm being messed with a little bit again. <coughs> It'll never stop until I get out of here. Um, but and then it'll stop forever for everyone uh, but Arrow was made a protector he was made the strongest and he kept getting stronger from being beat up so hard the original male and female made him so strong by beating him up they actually had a point where we were still on uh, Gera um, the first planet ever that's the energy that's in the uh, star night and night. <coughs> And um, they actually made a comment, the female did to the male, and said, look how strong Arrow's getting. And then the male just looked at it and said, yeah, I see, and it wasn't too happy with it, and that, that is what eventually did them in. But it's, it, it's Arrow, what I am inside, a, a teeny piece of it. That was his job, he was made to protect. When, you, when you're made protector, you have to protect the whole group. 
the first thing you have to tell yourself, this is a natural occurrence. Archangel Michael and Lucifer, who was protecting everything before anything else was even made, okay, because the original first being took a third of it when it made itself male and female, you know, two different parts which, which became male and female, separated a third of their own spirit to start, you know, working on other stuff, uh, building other things, creating uh, <clears throat> their family, so to speak. Well, what they did is they took 97% excuse me, of their negativity out of this field of energy and set it aside. That was negative source energy. Folks, that's powerful. That's why they made Lucifer immediately. They separated that stuff, put it over there, held it, and then pulled Lucifer out and said, guard this. Protect it. You know, protect everything from it. And some, because something's negative, it doesn't mean it's going to come after you. It just means it's negative. But the more aggressive stuff, it does come from negativity, okay? When it becomes aggressive, that's what it needs to be dealt with, and it has been. It, it, it always will be. That's Ara's job, too, okay? But Ara's, but Lucifer was made to protect that, that part. Um, the thing uh, uh, with Ara is the original first being male and female, they came out of the first dimension. They were, they, they were literally, they came about, their creation literally came out of happenstance. Uh, there was no way back then to control um, the amount of negativity in that being coming out of the first dimension. Now there is. I can tell you how to do it. You limit the amount of heavy particulate uh, solid matter that uh, gets involved in the creation of it. It's, it's easy. But anyway, uh, um, uh, so air was made so that when something new came out of this first dimension, which might be four or five times bigger than the original first being was, that air would be strong enough to protect them, everything they built, and to and, and their, what they wanted was uh, for me to, or Arrow, whatever, I'm say me, Arrow, same thing, okay? Like a spokesperson, I'm part of it, a finger talking about the body, whatever. Um, uh, literally is to subdue whatever came out and control it so that the original first being could use it and abuse it and do whatever it wanted with it. After having enough lives, and I, I remember going up to them and saying, "Look, I'm good with the first part protecting you. I'm good with the second part protecting everything that you uh, build. But number three, just beating something up so you can control it? No, it ain't gonna happen. If I have to fight the thing, no problem. I'll take care of it. But I'm not gonna just uh, attack it so you can sub, you know subdue it for you to use. That's wrong. Um, now this is what this is where I was going with this whole protection gig. Archangel Michael, he and I. Are, he and I are the best, the best of friends, okay? And he's stored in that dimension waiting to come out after this is over, same as Lucifer. Um, which, remember, actually means angel of light. Now, how did your religions turn that into whatever? Anyway, um, it's easy through lies. Anyway, um, so when you protect something, if you're protecting the group, they have to be equal. The first thing you have to do is say, okay, I have to protect all of them so they're all equally important to me. They are all of equal importance. Number one, there's equality. Number two, I have to care about these things. I, I learn compassion as I, as I see one pick on another. I have to understand what's happening here. It's not good for the other one. That, you know, this guy is hitting that one and it's hurting that one. I have to stop that. I have to protect. And then you start to literally learn compassion. Because you, you start to care about everything being equal and being protected. That's what you're made to do, so you literally become that naturally. Okay? And then, when you maintain that and do not, you know, slip away from it, when you maintain that concept, that, that, that format, as you maintain it, and you don't waver from it, not only have do you understand, but you've just become honorable. That's honor. Maintaining that. That's the new format. Compassion, honor, inequality. That's where it came from. Um, folks, I'm not stupid, okay? In school I was very smart. Um, I never hardly took my books home to study. Um, some of my math stuff, I'd do the test in about less than five minutes and 
pass it around for some other folks to help them uh, uh, <laughs> get better grades. Um, but I've been my brain's been changing for a long time. Uh, it was so I could do what I needed to do because it's my job. Not to say, ooh, I can go in your brain. I'm cool. No. Um, <laughs> that's not part of nothing. Um, I've n never felt like that. It's never been part of me. Um, it's funny. Um, when I was a kid, I always knew that as weak as I, well, I was, not weak, I was pretty strong, except when I was a little kid growing up, uh, I was never allowed to eat much. That kept me thin and skinny. Um, but it saved money. <laughs> that was the important part. My parents worshipped money. Anyway, uh, uh, sad thing to worship money. Sorry to get pulled off on that for a minute, but uh, it is. It's sad. Um, it's the means to the end of an accomplishment that's um, short term or long term uh, as far as like providing a roof over your head providing support for other people that's what money is it, it's a tool um, it's a chef's uh, bowl and a whip um, a baker's roller uh, a carpenter's ladder it's just a tool okay it's good to have but you know Pete's sake, man, don't get so wrapped up in it. Um, I know most all of you don't, but, you know, we respect it, utilize it, because it's a tool, and that's it. Anyway, uh, so that's how you format, uh, that's where this new format came from, compassion, honor, and equality, and that's where things are going. It's going to happen, and no one's going to make it a lot no one's going to make it anything else, okay? Because Ara and Lily are doing this. It, that's what they're doing. That's what they're making. And that's the only way it can happen properly. When I say it happened properly, I'm talking about creation growing. And all these abuse frequencies growing in you? Ugh. Man. Rough looking stuff. Um, that'll all get fixed. There's still some more stupid stuff on the other side running around causing problems. There's very little of it left. There's less and less every day. Um, they're sad. They're sick. They're scared. They know they're about to be uh, totally uh, deleted in a permanent way. Um, so anyway, that was my job. To come here and tell you about this stuff. And while I'm in a body, literally destroy this stuff. People say, oh, Jake killed God, Jake killed Jesus. I know I mentioned that earlier, but it's like, for Pete's sake, man, I didn't do diddly. It was, well, Jay Essex didn't do diddly. It's our in me that did everything. And remember, like I said, they're so he's so huge, he's so strong. This is the teeniest little piece of the hair on the tip of the tail of the dog that can actually fit in a body. Okay? So, and... I was just a whole lot stronger than they were. So, um, it's just doing my job, and that makes me want to smile. The fact that that's done. Um, it's hard for us to remember our past lives and stuff. We're wrapped up in this, and it's just difficult when you're in a body. You have to relax and flow. And uh, uh, I can do it, see things, uh, it gets easier and easier uh, every day as you go along. But uh, I've also gotten real beat up fighting everything through this uh, brain, through this body. Y'all have seen or I've had my uh, metatarsal bones in the top of my left foot broken twice while I was sleeping. <laughs> you know, no footboard for a bed, not, never got up and just wake, wake up and your foot's all swollen and uh, incredible pain. Um, it's amazing um, the abuse that was on the other side. But uh, those things that I that I go after, or what comes after me, or goes after other people, and that's why they were attacked.
except for when the angels, uh, the original first angels, the ones that were put on you um, to run you for the original first being male and female, except for when they were nuts going at you, um, I never went after anything. It came after me, I protected myself, and I got tired of it, and instead of just trying to patsy it or calm it down or give it more chances not to keep attacking me, I just kept going killing it. Um, the uh, um, the first angels uh, literally started hurting people. They started killing people before they were supposed to. They were doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, they were attacking me sometimes. They'd come at you. It's only energy, but like a thousand at a time. There were trillions of them. And, you, you know, if, if you think of an angel, the way we were all taught growing up, this wonderful, beautiful, you know, sentient being that's all light and all love and everything, um, if you think like that, you'll never understand who they are, what they were doing, and what happened. Um, but when someone tells you, and you don't have one of them with their energy inside your crown running you, making you think one way or another, because they will, they'll, they'll control your thought. They literally control your brain when they can go in there. That's why they're almost all dead now. Um, they were made like that. They were, they were made especially to get in there and do that. That's how the original first being, male and female, could control so many souls in uh, different fields of uh, um, individual uh, uh, spirits of uh, uh, at Fey and human essence, etc. So, the angels, uh, they started getting killed uh, thousands at a time. Anyway, I um, don't really like talking about that, but that's what's going on. It's just, you know, it was Ara doing his job, protecting you. Um, sometimes people don't like that, they get all upset young kids of all ages getting up there, Jay this, Jay that, blah, 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 blah. He's, he says this, he's a liar. He, you know, you look at these people and it's easy to see what their problems are. They're selfish. They're all about their self. Um, when people listen to me, they're, they're usually brought to me so we can meet, talk, so they can hear what I'm saying because this is for you. It's all about you folks. Wait till you meet Lily. Lily's got so much love. Emily's so much like her. Um, Lily is really, really strong. She's not, of course, not, not in the body. She's healing. Um, she's been abused so bad. Her last life was Marilyn Monroe. Um, but she's the loving mother energy that's going to be everywhere. Um, except it won't be like a body like Marilyn Monroe where, you know, it had so many problems. <clears throat> so, this is why it's important for all of you to know who you are, how things got this way, what's really out there anyway, and how things are going to change and why. Um, the creation series again this is book one okay we sell on the website autographed everything we sell on the autograph uh, everything we sell on the autograph is blah blah the uh, everything we sell on the uh, uh, websites is autographed okay um, this is and believe it or not I actually take my energy and crank them up put it in there it's kind of fun so um, it, it sometimes it can help you relax and power up as you're trying to read this there's a second book. The, the first book is about what's going on. How did the first being get made? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, who are the different beings out there? Well, what order did they come out in? How do you know? How do they relate? Blah 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 blah. All kinds of stuff like that in here. This is a very strong book. This is the beginning book to let you know how creation started, what's out there, um, how it was set up, how dimensions are made, uh, all the different players on the game. Okay, um, it's not a game, but uh, um, all the different beings, spirit beings, uh, in creation. Not all the different aliens and all the different planets, folks. This is, uh, um, there's trillions of planets with life on them. Um, but th this is the different forms of spirit. Um, the negativity percentages, uh, 
can be found on the internet all over the place uh, if, if you go to one of my websites. Um, other people will start sharing some of it. Um, but uh, the second book is how everything happened. What happened, how what happened, how who changed, how they changed, why they changed. Um, uh, the war that did uh, go on that I was talking about earlier. Um, uh, um, I've even got stuff in there talking about uh, 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 at the very end, uh, after I go through the, give you the actual book itself, I spent some time explaining a little bit about uh, uh, how to, like stone energy, what it is, how to feel it, how to talk to stone, okay? Um, there's another section in there helping you deal with all these little uh, uh, scared, little uh, arrogant, selfish uh, individuals that say metaphysical abilities don't exist when they're evident everywhere. Uh, a, a policeman or a detective that knows someone's watching the back of their head, they turn around, they can see someone watching. We all do this ourselves, not just policemen, but they develop it a little better because they need it for self-preservation. Um, sometimes a fireman can pick off a spark when he can't see it, he just feels it and go to it. Um, uh, a baker, how does a baker come up with that one little thing? It's just out of nowhere, it just comes up with this little, little thought about changing this uh, um, dough or something a little bit and voila, it happens. Um, uh, mother, how did, how did a mother know about her baby? Um, that's halfway around the world that all of a sudden was in trouble and she called up and sure enough her baby had just gotten hurt uh, her child you know uh, that's what I mean by that um, people this this stuff is going on everyone has metaphysical abilities a lot of people are solar plexus which is gut feeling and that's trusting your gut intuition what is it about animals animals are really strong but they have animal instinct it's metaphysical ability but when you understand metaphysical, something being of spirit, and then physical, being physical body, we have many abilities. And to become the, your true self, while you're in the body, you need to use all of it. Um, anyway, folks, that's what I'm about. That's why I'm here. And if you've gotten this far in the video, which a lot of you have, um, it's easy to understand this is about you. I'll be out of here real soon. And I'll be I'll, I'll always be working for you. That's my job. It's what I want to do. I love my job. It's sad sometimes, but I, I love having the job I do. When you really care about stuff, it means a lot to you. When you care about your family, they mean a lot to you. Um, that sounds like a, a um, repetitive statement or whatever. Um, when you care about something, you're willing to go a long way to protect it. And finally, finally, Lily and I are free. And we can help finish cleaning and fixing everybody. Getting when I say fixing them, getting rid of these abuse frequencies. And the hardest part is going to be dealing with the arrogance it'll be dealt with. Uh, and then you'll run yourselves. Once the new format's set up, you'll run yourselves. You're not kids, okay? You're old. Spirit. Old spirit. Even the youngest ones of you. There's, you know, there's still a fifth wave of souls that almost none of them have even had lives. I've seen a few of them here on this planet. I just look at them and say, man, what are you doing here? Um, uh, uh, 19 lives, 21 lives, 23 lives total instead of, uh, uh, you know, a few hundred million. Uh, we are a very unique family. We're the first one. There's more coming out. Uh, out of the first dimension there's more um, first type beings coming out uh, things are about to change in a big way but a lot of, uh, also um, a lot of you that are strong especially involved in this new movement um, the fighting that's been going on on the other side they've all been coming at me because they're all arrogant they all wanted to take their turn all the big hitters on the other side want to take the turn playing God uh, leave the way of abuse, have everyone worship us, 
heard you knew God. Um, wow, that's sick. Um, and they're almost all dead now. Almost every piece of all of them is dead. All the big pieces of all of them has gone. The original male and female first being totally destroyed. Um, JC, the same thing. Believe it or not, he got crazy. Uh, they already call me Lord. They're going to call me God now. And I'm like, and he, he told me I was going to stop. Um, he told me I was going to stop um, killing these angels that were going after everyone. I mean, <laughs> it's, I couldn't believe it. He and I had a few words. He attacked me. Uh, physically with a uh, you know spinning a knife drop my arm loose knife spin around um, almost cut the inside uh, vein on the inside of my leg that one that when you cut it is you bleed out right away unless someone can get you to a doctor real quick so uh, see folks it's not like your books say that's the importance of having the truth in a couple of the books anyway um, I believe him. It's early in the morning. I had my coffee and uh, one cup of coffee and my chihuahua tea. I love this stuff, folks. This stuff is awesome, okay? Um, and it's time to get some more. Uh, anyway, folks, that's why I was here. Um, just to let you know what's going on. Evolve as many of you as I could. And, uh, beat up the bad guys uh, that were beating everyone else up actually getting rid of them like the janitor taking the trash out um, when you're aware of everything that's been happening for so long and the damage it's done and how everything's turned out um, it's really sad uh, especially when your job is to protect everything and you've been pushed in kind of pushed in the body, not forced, but I had to keep having lives until I could finally get to this point. Um, but uh, it's being fixed. It's, it, it almost all is. I just got to release this last piece of arrow so arrow can get himself put together and then just be completely on the other side and run it until it gets squared away and uh, Lily and uh, Ara will both be uh, doing their job as a, uh, um, a big brother sister uh, spirit on the other side running things keeping things squared away learning how to run lives and stuff the original first being is the only thing uh, male and female were the only things that ever ran a life ever they wouldn't let anything else run a life because it you know help keep maintain control <clears throat> if no one else could do it then uh, they'd be the ones doing it they weren't stupid they had a lot of problems, but they weren't stupid. Uh, but anyway, uh, as soon as they understand it, then uh, they'll be able to, it'll be easier for them to maintain that same format while you all are running your cells. And then, you know, you slide one way or the other, then Lily probably come out and say, look, we need to do it a little bit different so that we can maintain this for everybody. Or if everyone comes at the different councils that you have, um, uh, of each each individual form of spirit has its own council and two members and then you all just get together and run yourselves and then if it comes to an impasse Lily come in and say look we need to do this this way that way and this is why um, so all that abuse stuff will, will be gone so anyway uh, look uh, I'll leave y'all now but uh, um, there's a lot of good stuff coming when you have the information in these two books and, and the second book the second book looks a lot like this okay except it's uh, like a blue color okay I'm sorry blue purple uh, purple color it's a uh, that's m66 okay Ara literally created that uh, uh, that galaxy a long time ago want to have a home for his uh, family uh, second dimension not here in the third second dimension anyway uh, look love y'all that's what's going on that's what it's about um, that's why you need to have that information it's yours okay um, oh and the second book that's big okay it's expensive 
uh, hell, we've got a lot more than three grand in it. Um, it's going to be forty-four ninety-nine for uh, um, uh, copies we sell through the website, autographed. Um, Amazon.com will be selling the book itself. It'll be a little cheaper. Okay, it'll probably come out at forty-four ninety-nine, and then um, maybe be brought down a little bit. Uh, whatever they have their own way of moving stuff around, but you can buy it on Kindle for nine ninety-nine. Okay, and again, that book has been opened up for the libraries. Okay, it's not like trying to, you know, make a ton of money forcing people. We do a lot. We're uh, in the process of getting our second horse now. To, you know, saving our second horse. I say get it. it there's issues there, and um, it's uh, in uh, <laughs> an extreme case of uh, neglect. Uh, no, let me take it back. Um, He's being neglected. He's not being taken care of uh, properly whatsoever to the point where he has physical issues, uh, pain, suffering, and um, we're taking we're we're taking care of that. We're we're all over it, and then we're about to spend money in the or Michelle's about to spend money. It's her money. Um, I'm involved. I'm tied in with open awareness, but uh, um, it's uh, it's about animals and people. Not us. We, um, Michelle's paying taxes on everything that she spends um, to save animals. We, we pay taxes t at least twice. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, I'm happy to be part of it. I don't get, you know, the, the money doesn't go to me. All the money that comes in always went right to her. Um, every penny. So anyway, uh, That's what it's about, people. Everyone and everything. And it will get better. And I'm sorry it took so long. But as y'all wake up and get stronger and stronger, you're going to realize just what's been happening. It'll start making sense. Number one, it's the truth. Number two, as you awaken and get stronger, you're going to see it for yourself. You have to have your own truth before you have anything. Period. You have to. The truth can only be your own personal understanding, and you need some type of physical affirmation and understanding. That sometimes as energy, um, you have to have your own to have your own truth. Um, and it's not just knowledge. Knowledge is data. When it, when you understand it, consume it, and it makes sense. That's understanding, and that's a lot of understanding. A lot of individual understandings become wisdom. So anyway, uh, love y'all. Uh, you have really good lives coming, okay? Um, remember, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just the janitor, okay? Um, it's my job. I like my job, though. Anyway, love y'all. I'm going to get some more coffee. Have a good one.